Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss an exciting career path that is gaining tremendous momentum in the tech industry and that is the role of cloud support engineer at Amazon. So if you're passionate about cloud computing and are looking for a role which will put you at the forefront of the emerging technology, this video is for you. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what a cloud support engineer really does. As a cloud support engineer, you will be the cloud ambassador for AWS. You will help AWS customers get most out of the AWS services which are being provided to them. Your main responsibility will be to solve customer issues via multiple uh, communication channels like telephone, chat, email or a video call. You will also work on advanced troubleshooting, collaborate with various engineers and also provide feedback to improve the AWS services. So here is a quick overview of the job description of a cloud support engineer. First, it is a customer support role. So you will primarily solve customer issues via troubleshooting. You will have daily challenges. You will have to learn and implement groundbreaking technologies, interact with global engineers and handle complex customer problems. You will also be collaborating with different AWS teams to partner the to partner with them and solve complex issues. You will also be creating documentation, writing how-to materials. So now that we have a good understanding of what a cloud support engineer does and what the role is, let's get started on how you can start preparing for it. So first step would be to gain a solid understanding of the AWS services like Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Amazon Lambda, Amazon RDS. Step two would be to get a certification of the Amazon Fundamental Associate so that you have a basic knowledge of how the cloud works and what the cloud technologies do and how AWS is serving, serving its customers. Step three would be to build hands-on experience. You can get the free tier Amazon AWS account and start to practice setting up and managing services. Try to work on projects that require deploying applications, setting up networks and managing databases on AWS. Step four would be to master troubleshooting. So mainly they will test your knowledge in the interviews for troubleshooting. If you have uh, the right knowledge and you know what, uh, how to proceed and how to solve a complex issue which a customer is facing. So they want to see your mindset if you are able to solve a problem or a complex issue or not. So as a cloud support engineer, troubleshooting is a key part of your role. Practice identifying and resolving issues. Also, you should develop strong communication skills, which is step five. A support role is not just about your technical skills, but also how you communicate. You need to communicate technical issues clearly to the customer. So you need to work on your communication skills, both verbal and uh, written. Also, you can try explaining technical concepts to non-technical people. Also, the last step would be to learn Linux and networking concepts. To clear the interviews, you will be needing these as the major technical rounds are revolving around Linux, OS and uh, networking concepts. So get your hands dirty on uh, these and uh, learn the uh, Learn the major concepts revolving around networking. What is a network? What is TCP IP model? What is OSI model? How does DNS service work? And all these, uh, and in Linux, how do you boot a system? What, uh, what is the booting process of a Linux system? Threads, processes, uh, multi-threading, multi-processor, and all these questions, you have to really know them to be able to explain them in the interview when asked, and also two, two technical rounds, two manager rounds would be there. So, Try uh, preparing your answers beforehand for the managerial round as they are uh, based on your previous experience or uh, they just really check how you would be a culture fit at Amazon. So these questions are basically asked from the 10, uh, I think 16 leadership principles which Amazon has. So you can Google them, get those 16 principles, then come up with two to three questions for each of the principle. And also there is a handbook on the internet available which has the sample questions or like it is a sample question paper which uh, the recruiters itself use to ask questions. So they have like five to six questions for each of the principles 
and i will uh, i can provide you that pdf file in the description on this uh, below on this video and you can uh, go through that and uh, just make sure if you are clearing both the technical rounds you prepare for the managing round managerial round well in advance and uh, like have your story set up you can make your own stories up also if you don't have relevant experience but uh, try to make it authentic and uh, have these answers ready before itself and also practice answering them using the star method star is basically where you answer a question in a strategic method s stands for situation where you explain what the situation was when asked a question and then t is for task task what is the task which you had or what was the task at hand and what did you do a for action action is what you did actually to solve the task at hand and this what the situation was what the uh, task was and what action you took and r is for result result is what was the outcome of uh, this situation and the uh, action which you took was it positive was it negative what did you learn from it so you have to uh, you have to create your answers in such a way that you answer it using this uh, star method and uh, you're able to convey your uh, so this method is very good in explaining the uh, situations and your past experience very well so the recruiter will be convinced if you use the star method to explain the questions which they are which they ask okay and there you have it uh, this is a comprehensive video for how to prepare for aws role aws cloud support engineer role and what does a cloud support engineer really does the key is to combine your theoretical knowledge with practical experience and have a good grasp over your communication skills so if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and also a comment if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button that will definitely help me and motivate me to make such more videos for you hit the bell icon for more such career tips so thank you for watching and all the best to your journey in becoming a cloud support engineer thank you